So whose is this? Mine. And so what were you thinking? <laughs> the effect of light on the onion. Okay. Do you think that that's true? Mm -hmm. Does she got the effect of light? Yeah. Okay. So what we have here, the original homework assignment was to try to create depth. So we have everything crowded in the middle. We could call this like a um, Leonardo da Vinci used a triangular composition. So we could say it's a triangle composition. Um, there's nothing that brings me back into the painting in front. I mean, with Jean's painting, we actually go beyond and back. You know, we, she, she invited us to go into the back of the painting, that wonderful thing. So it's missing an element that brings the viewer into the painting. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't have, you know, merit. The issue is, is that, yeah, we're here, but then we're stuck. And then we have a little bit of highlight here. And one thing that I like in a painting is like a triangle. And so you have light here, we have light here, but I'd like to have a third central focal point. Like when I'm looking at you and we're having a conversation, it's quite common for me to glance away and come back again. You see that. It's hard to really stare. In fact, if you stare at a dog long enough, they start to look away because it's unnatural for us to have that. So in a good composition, you would have the main focal point, which is the brightest thing, and then you'd have something like I'm looking at Judy right now. <laughs> and she seems, you know, quasi-interested, but not as interested as you, because we're having the conversation. But I glance over, see she's not falling asleep, and then I come back here again, right? And then I'll come over and look at Darla, to, she's checking her, you know, whatever and come back again. And so that's common, the way that we think. So in painting, what you want is a central focal point, but if you just have that, the painting looks stiff. So that's why you develop eye magnets, and then you have a secondary focal point and a third focal point. Those other three focal points cannot compete with the first one. Because if I'm talking to you, and all of a sudden what she's doing over here is more interesting, no matter what, I'm distracted. And so I'm starting to go like this. Stop it, Isabel. <laughs> I said, stop it. <laughs> yeah. And so I'm like, you know, like, I'm irritated by what's going on over here. So it has to be there. So when you glance over, there's something beautiful there. And, but it, it can't break this conversation. So we would have this, this, and then usually I set it up in a triangle. And see, this is really, you're pulling me into this corner. So what I would l rather see is a central focal point. Which direction is the light coming from? From the left? From the left? Mm -hmm. Okay. So another uh, central focal point would be here. Here, here, and then maybe here. So I would brighten this more, brighten this more, and brighten this more. And then that way, as our eyes kind of, so you'd form this triangle. This being the brightest. Now, this is kind of up front and like, mm -hmm, and it doesn't really lead me anywhere. And it would be much more interesting to have this being a, a brighter central focal point and this not so. Because that would bring us back into the painting, kind of what I was wanting you to do with your homework assignment, is to kind of go over and go into the back of the painting. What would have been real interesting is to push that cup all the way on the other side of the table and then put a highlight on it so that we would go into the back of the painting to the front. That's more or less what I was looking for. But by bringing more highlight into here and not so much here, you would cause the people to be more involved into the painting as opposed to in the front. This almost feels like there's a piece of glass in front and the light's hitting the front of the glass. So it's not really doing anything for the painting itself. So knock this down, bring this up, and make your main key here and see what happens with the painting. Okay.